the Surgeon General's warning, women who may be drunk should not nurse pregnant children or smoke cigars or use tobacco products. Hi everyone, you're watching Indulge TV. This is our third episode. We're back once again. If you've been watching this show, you'll know that it's a drink and wine and cigar review TV show. My name's Todd. I run a business called Indulge Cigars. It's an online cigar shop, blah, blah, blah. You know the whole routine. We have a special guest from uh, Hollywood. It's the fat kid from Head of the Class. <laughs> Welcome, fat kid from Head of the Class. Dennis. I just got, I, uh, it's, uh, you, you played a character named Dennis, right? <laughs> yes, that's correct. I just got done reading all of my fan mail from my work on Good Burger, <laughs> and I, just now, and that, that movie was made a long time ago, so wow. that's the kind of caliber star you've, uh, you've asked to be on the show well, today. Thanks for coming. Just oh, kidding. It's Mark. Mark has, Mark's been on both shows so far. Uh, and He's even, a staple great at this to point. Be here. Great to be here. Yeah, he really is. Great to be I gotta uh, get a higher <laughs> caliber of friends because in the in the second episode I said I didn't want to incestualize the show anymore, um, but what I did was I got my brother to come on. Bring nepotism <laughs> into yeah. play here. How how uh, the stars how have really come it? out tonight. Right. Now. Oh I mean, boy! You really it's, finish things off. You mean, not not only do you have your best friend. Now your brother. How are you right. doing these bookings? How do you manage to do whatever? You do? It's been amazing. So anyway, this is episode three. Neither of these guys are qualified to rate or judge anything. No, and in again, life. you've kept with the theme of bringing people who know nothing about cigars <laughs> and tonight wine. So we have there'll be no expertise, but a, hopefully there'll be a, a whole bucket load of ball breaking. Which There's is what, what we really <laughs> pretty much that's all we really care. Don't about. listen to anything that has to do with the reviews of these products. They are it's 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 as if you were listening to a chimpanzee give his review on a wine. It's utterly pointless. So today we're we're smoking cigars from the Arganese uh, company or Arganese. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. It's an Italian guy who started a cigar company. Kind of interesting interesting story. And we've got uh, two bottles of wine, uh, a Chianti and a Pinot. Uh, never had either of these, but I can tell you guys I I wanted this. The wine selection to be special. Oh, so I want. I picked sweet. a theme. I thought, what should the theme of the wine be for my great L guests? Let me guess. The theme is cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just. Well, cheap is a relative term. It's wine that's under ten dollars a bottle. Voila! We're gonna have some cigars from Arganese. A guy named Gene Arganese. He's new to the cigar business. He started uh, in 2006. He used to be a real estate developer. Then I guess he got upset with the politics of real estate and decided to throw himself into the cigar business. He loves cigars. Kind of a really cool story. He loves cigars and he went down to the Dominican Republic to find a cigar that was just right for him. He wanted his own blend. He knew what he liked and he didn't really find it in, in what was available. So he went down. It's like if, Mark, you wanted uh, to have like a really special pair of man panties. <laughs> tailor-made that you couldn't get from Victoria's Secret. It's like you going down to... That's like, ridiculous. To Chinatown. I would, I would ordering. fashion my own. I would fashion my <laughs> own man panties. It's like right? you going to Milan. So this guy goes down to the Dominican Republic, hooks up with these, this small cigar company, and they start making cigars, private label cigars, just for him. He loves them. He brings them back uh, to the States, gives them away as, uh, as gifts to friends. His friends say, hey, you know, how about hooking up with a bundle of these or a box because everybody loves them. Before you know it, he's bringing in all these cigars for his friends. His wheels start turning. He hates the real estate business. So he decides, I'm going to go to the Dominican Republic, an Italian guy, and start a cigar business. And he did. Why not? And Why not? It's only been in the, in the past couple of years that he's been, been doing this. And I think the, uh, this, the, the story is kind of cool. And that's why I brought the, the product on to, uh, on to Indulge Cigars. We, he, he used to have... Every, he used to have a Maduro, Connecticut, and a, a Nicaraguan cigar, but there were three strengths of each cigar. So there was a chairman, an ambassador, and a presidente for each cigar. And it was very hmm. complicated because you didn't know what the hell you were smoking. Is it mild? Is it medium? Is it full? So what does he have now? Connecticut, Nicaraguan, and Maduro, but there's just one strength. Yeah. So when okay. you order the Maduro, you're getting the Maduro. Right. But the newest offering 
is the ML3 and CL3. We're going to be smoking the ML3 tonight. It's a very strong cigar. It's called the ML3 because it stands for Maduro, Ligero, or Liero, however you want to say it, to the third power. Three Ligeros. Binder, wrapper, and filler. Ligero not, is a leaf? Yes. Okay. It's, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, binder, wrapper, and filler are all Ligero. And it's a very, that's, it's, a, it's a strong tobacco. I recommended that you try one of uh, the Arganese Connecticut's. Because, you said it was a bit of a, more of a milder blend. Yeah, and you're not really, uh, you don't really smoke a lot of cigars, so I'm thinking so that you don't start like barfing and passing out and whatnot. We'll give you a light I mean, cigar. I enjoy a strong cigar, but a lighter is, is fine as well. I wouldn't mind trying a, a different one. And well, if you don't like... Giving my pointless review of, of, of that uh, cigar. Now, you've had food before, <laughs> right? You've tried food. I have. Have you noticed that food has flavors to it? I, I have noticed that different foods do tend to what, have what different is this? flavors. Food has different flavors. So do drinks. Food? And I'm, I'm assuming this is going to be an analogy to cigars, that they <laughs> also have different flavors. Oh, I think this is completely unrelated. <laughs> if you guys came up with one flavor, one note, one observation about the character... We're on the fifth floor of this building. You're going right out the friggin' window. All right, we'll see who gets tossed out first, Mark or, or me. Personally, I think you should kick us both out right now and just do this whole goddamn thing yourself. I know you've been doing the Atkins, so if I'm going to deadlift somebody out of my no, window. No, no. Look, I, I would not recommend that he do this himself. Someone needs to drink this wine. Exactly. We're going to be right back. When we come back, we're going to have our cigars already lit. So if the watch us do that, and we'll be having uh, one of these wines. See you in a minute. We're back. Our cigars are lit. Mark and I are smoking the Yarganese ML3. Kids gonna have the uh, Connecticut. We've already got them lit. The pre-light draw was pretty good. Uh, the aroma is very spicy. You can tell these are gonna be uh, pretty, pretty big, big, bold powerhouse cigars. You can just taste on your lips. The wrapper is has a like a dark brown, almost reddish hue to it. Very oily, a little rough looking at times. Um, it also has, uh, it looks like it's almost dyed. The color is not really uniform. It's kind of an interesting, interesting look, but it's definitely oily. So uh, we're going to start having some of this wine. This is the uh, Setamura Chianti. So let's give a little, a little shot here. Now the, this, this Chianti, just like the other wine, comes in under 10 bucks. It's about, this is the most expensive at $9.99, so... Things are tough, things are tight. Let's try our 10 buck job. Give it a shot. Yeah. I'll let this yeah. breathe for about an hour. Not a ton of aroma. No. Not, not a bad flavor. It's light. A little dry. Pretty good. Yeah, it's not, on, it's not sweet at all. Mellow, mild. It is mellow. Which, I like is kind of, which is kind of nice with this cigar, actually, because this cigar has a lot of flavor. So there's a little, little bit of a cherry kind of note to it. Very, very light flavors. Yeah, I've had Chiantis that were definitely stronger than this, but this is uh, a yeah. nice flavor, nice and light. Let it open up a little bit. So finally, we've got a winner to this contest of take oh, a really? picture of yourself smoking a cigar in an inappropriate place. All Thank right. God. Finally. It only took about four months. <laughs> Let me tell you, I know you, you guys know, have been. The words uh, getting out there. You guys have been actually working on the show, but as a fan of Indulge TV, my favorite <laughs> portion of the show is smoking a cigar in an inappropriate place. Yeah, so I'm. It's a great. I'm segment. waiting with bated breath to see who the, who this winner is. First and foremost, what's it like to be here on the set of your favorite show? <laughs> it's it's like somebody who loves SNL finally making finally. it down. It's like I, you know, Lauren Green. Or Lauren Michaels. Michaels. <laughs> hey, if you're if you're a Bonanza fan, it'd be like meeting Lauren Green. It's like being tapped on the shoulder, saying, "Kid, you've made the big time." Chris Farley, get out there. Right. And it's like let's me see what meeting uh, Reba McIntyre. <laughs> exactly. 